Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to FS19 and the review of Star of Yesh map. First things first, in the description you will find the link to the site where I found the map. Uh, the file is 210 megabytes inside. inside. <laughs> there is one file and you do not need to unzip it. Uh, just transfer it to, to your mod folder, folder, start the game, start a new map, uh, find Star of Yesh when selecting the map. In this review I will explain a few things about the map. We will go through the field sizes and prices, take a look at the different cell points and your starting fleet and uh, Cherry on the top will take a tour of the map. So, uh, this is our starting position and uh, this is how the farm looks like. This is initial farmyard, uh, you have two of them. Now, this map comprises out of six cell points, two barns for your bales, a grass, hay, silage and straw can be sold there in the barn. Uh, there is no cell point for your slurry, manure or chaff. Uh, you will need to spread them on your fields uh, or fermented, fermented uh, respectively. There are two crops cell points for your grains, but only one of them accepts your potatoes and sugar beets and sugarcane, which I will not be using myself on this map. Also, you have your dairy station for your eggs and your milk, as well as spinnery for your wool and cotton. Also, all of the buildings can be sold for profit, but I advise against it. Biggest field on the map, let's check this out first. So, your cell points that you have here are barn, barn, dairy station, grain elevator east, selling station two, and spinnery, of course, spinnery is for wool and your cotton. Uh, selling station two is for your grains. Uh, we will find that on the map as well. Uh, grain elevator east, that's the eastern part of the map near your second farm and it accepts all the crops, even the sugarcane as mentioned before. Uh, dairy station, uh, which accepts only eggs and the milk. And two barn stations, you will see them on the map as well. Now, you have here several uh, cell points. So, cell, selling station is right, selling station two is right next to your start position, while uh, one of the barns is here as well. The other selling positions are here near your second farm. So, you have dairy station, grain elevator east, spinnery, and barn all in the same place. Biogas is all the way in the northeast part of the map, so mill is northwest, and the rest of the map is more or less the fields, all the fields you have. Now, uh, the biggest field on the map is field number 88, and it will set you back uh, by 229,000 euro, but you have a few unmarked fields as well. One of them is this, cost 240,000 euros. It's quite, big. it's the biggest field actually, kinda, the biggest field is this, but you won't be buying this. So this field here uh, has majority of the grass on the, on the map, so if you purchase this, you're set for, for life with the grass. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing that, it's just too much for me or what we're gonna do on this map. But we'll never say never, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, there's a huge amount of grass here and it will support all your animals that you, yeah, that you might have on this map. Uh, you have some small fields as well. Uh, the smallest field is field number 69, which is 17,000 euros. It's gonna set you back 17,000 euros. Uh, also, you have field 60, which is, doesn't seem so small. It's only 19,000 euros, but um, yeah, well, that's the two smallest fields, so you can consider they're both quite close to your farm and adjacent to your currently owned fields. Now, you start with uh, eight fields i believe if i'm not mistaken three of them are in the east farm let's call it the east farm and the rest of them are around your main farm some of them are quite small both fields 15 and 16 come as one field and it can be sold for 25,000. and also field 31 uh, that has a little piece of forestry here as well as a uh, fairly sized field number 68 plus the field 58 here um, both of those can be sold for well, kind of significant amount of money, that's 65,000, and you can invest them in something more solid size, if you wish. Um, anyway, let's continue on. Now, let's check our starting fleet. So, we start with uh, the following. Let's 
go all the way to the beginning. We have T T5 100, 199 horse, actually 99 horsepower tractor, uh, Fiat 130, 1300 DT, 150,000. This is your workhorse if if you wish to keep it. Uh, the smallest Bison Super Z uh, Z056 plus the um, small Fortree tra trailer, which is perfect for this kind of map because it can. It can manage the rough angles. You have um, bison front uh, 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 front attachment, to the the header. You have the smallest plow, Salford. You have pretty small uh, cultimer, L300, three meter cultivator. You have Amazon cedar, which actually I find quite useful on these kind of maps. Uh, you have deltis more than adequate uh, sprayer. You have uh, blue front uh, front echo front attacher front weight uh, plus the whole array of farms any animal you wish to grow on this farm you have farm for it already deployed you can sell them but the price is not great so i, I would suggest against selling it um, continuing on you have a couple of grain silos which are fair in price and i suggest you keep them uh, small bunker silo which is modded to be uh, looking locally and cheap it's quite quite nice fits in the map perfectly and the whole array of the garage and sheds and also some other stuff you can find including the farmhouse two farmhouses okay let's continue on so now the best part let's take a tour of the of the village uh so the village has one main road which curves back in the east side of the map but uh, we're gonna get to that let's go west first uh we have a uh, machinery purchase point there you can see the i think i never saw uh these concrete uh, power power lines poles um, like uh, these ones here before so this is the first time I'm seeing something like this so this is your uh, Rolmar uh, Machini Rolnice <laughs> uh, so this is uh, your um, machine purchase place uh, also this is the most western part of the map uh, you can go a little bit to the west but uh, there's a forest and then it ends the map ends there uh, probably in a tunnel yes a tunnel so let's go all the way to the northwestern side where we have our uh, lumber mill or the sawmill. You can see that most of the fields here are narrow and long, uh, majority of them being square-ish or at least three sides are pretty square. Your lumber mill is there on the left hand side, but I'm not sure, maybe, maybe I'm gonna do some forestry on this map as well. Uh, by the way guys, I'm doing the let's play on this map and I'm absolutely enjoying myself. It's, this is really, really amazing map and I really think the uh, authors... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Uh, the authors of the map. Of course, the authors of the maps are uh, Zielak uh, 04 and Montorio. Two of them uh, are well-known Polish map makers. I, uh, they've made some other maps as well. Uh, if you want to look them up, uh, you can see a lot of few, few maps that they did. Uh, but I think this is the best work they did. Uh, you have a whole bunch of ma small, small fields here, which you can purchase and maybe combine together if you wish. I personally won't be doing that, but if you wish, uh, they're pretty ripe to be combined and they're, they're pretty, pretty nice looking maps. So if you wish to stick with the smaller equipment uh, on this map, uh, you can start with small fields and just work them as they are. It's absolutely beautiful. This is this is exactly what I want in a map. This is how I want, want my, my map to look like. And these fields, this is the, this is similar to the place. I'm not Polish, but um, this is really similar uh, to the place where I grew up. And this is kind of fields you can find there. And you have these white trees here. I'm not, really not sure what the English term name for them is. But it's really, really beautiful. I haven't tried forestry on this map. I'm not sure if uh, how the machinery would handle these kind of trees. But um, this is something I never saw on any other map except this one. Uh, the whole forest with these kind of trees. Anyway, back to the fields. Uh, we have one river going um, uh, through this map. It actually kind of disappears. We're going to see this is the most northern part of the river. Where it comes from there. And it goes all the way to the... Uh, south part where it disappears in the middle of the field, but we're gonna check that part out. 
Look at those small fields. I mean, they're just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. They're just begging to be harvested with a small harvester. <laughs> I, I love this kind of stuff. Anyway, let's continue on and let's check out the eastern part of the of the village. This is one of many forests. I believe there are three, four, five forests in this uh, on this map, and this is just one of them. Of course, you're gonna have to purchase the land if you want to work them. Uh, we at the, at the beginning you own a small forest next to your farm. It's pretty small, but still, if you want to earn some money, that's pretty pretty good. Uh, this is the biggest sell point on the map where you can sell your potatoes, all the root crops, it's also spinnery. And I believe that's the dairy and egg sell point as well. Now this is, uh, I believe, the biggest field we own. This is field number 42. Um, it's, we own it, it's not ripe to be harvested yet. And this is our second farm, the East Farm. Uh, East Farm has two, two paddock, horse paddock and the sheep, sheep area here. So you can start uh, your uh, sheep and your horses in this in this area. You own this grass field on the right, and as well, this is this should be wheat field. So this wheat wheat field here. So that that's everything that you own. Um, well, those three fields on the east side. You have five fields on the west side as well. <clears throat> but that's that's about it. They are all pretty small, but uh, when you sell them, they are worth a bit more because they are combined. This is your biogas plant, it looks really old and run down, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it uh, uh, functions perfectly. Uh, let's continue on to the east side, southeast, and uh, let's see where the road is going to get us. So this is your second farm, it's quite small, I've been playing um, Let's Plays on this map and uh, all the garages here, all the... Uh, sheds are pretty small. I'm not really sure what you can put in them and uh, not even the baler fits properly in, in the In the sheds there. Okay, let's go and take the other side of the road uh, the other side of the map And there's a road that circles around some of the fields all these narrow you can see check it on the right all these narrow and long fields This is for me. This is this is romantic <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the, the best part of this map, what I enjoy the most. Um, it, it will be challenging, it doesn't have any hedges, it doesn't have... Uh, so you, you will be able to use roads in between and also you will be able to use uh, um, a little bit of a grassland on the edge of the fields to turn your harvester around or a cedar or anything like that. Uh, but these, this area of the map is where the biggest fields are. So fields number, like fields number 88 that we already covered in the introduction to this map costs uh, 226,000 euros, but it's also surrounded by two more, a bit narrower fields. We're gonna check them out now. Adjacent to field number 88, there's a big expanse of grass that you can purchase as well. Unfortunately, that's the most expensive, second most expensive part of the map. The most expensive part of the map is unusable because it's only water and the rivers. So two small fields, number 80, 88 and 90. We're gonna check the prices here. So field number 90 would be 59,000 euros and the field number 89 would be uh, 36,000, 37,000 euros. That's quite affordable and if you wish to start with these kind of fields, that, that's also not so bad. Okay, let's continue on. We are approaching to the to the, uh, the end of the river or where a river disappears into the ground. Probably submerges and start continues flowing under the ground. But um, this is where it ends in this beautiful little lake. Uh, we should move our farm around this lake, actually. Ah, oh, there's a guy fishing there. I haven't even noticed this in my Let's Plays. Yeah, the, the map also has really beautiful sounds. Like here, you can see, you can hear frogs. But um, let's let's keep that for now, uh, the romantic part <laughs> of the map. And let's continue on to the biggest field that I wanted to show you. This is the grass field uh, that cost 240,000 euros. Um, it's quite big, um, you will have a lot of work to do in if you buy this field. Uh, I am unsure if you can actually fertilize this field, but let's check it here. If we go to lands, so this is the field that we want, 240,000 euros, but if we go here and check fertilizing stages of this, unfortunately it looks like you cannot fertilize it. 
but I'll, I'll have to confirm that. Um, we'll, we'll have to confirm that. But let's continue on. Uh, unfortunately, there's no road here, so uh, currently I'm driving on somebody's land. Well, maybe it's government land, so nobody cares. <laughs> no, it's somebody's land anyway. Uh, here are several small fields that also will be challenging because of the power lines going through them. Uh, also, some of parts of those fields have trees and power lines next to it, so it will be quite challenging for your harvesters to go around it. For example, you have one here. Uh, that there are two power line, two power poles uh, that are going through this field, and they are creating a little bit of a wedge there, so it's it's quite hard to navigate around it. Tried it already. And we are getting back on the south side, uh, where we are surrounded by all these fields. Um, here's a small cluster of several fields. On the right hand side there's a cornfield, number 58, that we own. It's a quite small field and um, that's one of the fields I'm considering of selling. Um, there are several more small fields here that are begging to be combined into one, but uh, that's all up to you guys. If you wish uh, to combine those fields into one, please feel free to do it. It actually probably would look really nice. Anyway, let's go back to the main farm and let's finish off this uh, review. So, let's check it out. Yes, in the main farm you have here, I believe this is a pig enclosure here. Or pig yard. Uh, next to it, this big milk tank indicates that this is a dairy farm or cow yard or cow farm. This is our silage clamp, quite nicely improvised one with the tires. And this is our chicken coop, where our chickens are. Fortunately, currently we don't have any eggs. I believe eggs spawn here. This is where we feed them and water them. Or vice versa. Anyway, the map has uh, small little issues which I hope that uh, authors will um, uh, resolve in the future. Uh, for example, I'm going to show you one of them. So here we have invisible collision where we can actually do this. So it's it's not ideal, but still it's it's not a game not not a game breaker. You have beautiful design buildings uh, in Central and Eastern European style. This is in, in Polish style and it's really, really beautiful. You have uh, a lot of space here in this yard. All the uh, garages, all the sheds are pretty big. So you can, you can fit most of your machinery here. The other one is much smaller. Um, also, this is how your silo looks like. So guys, this is your silo. Uh, you empty, you get your crops back through here and you unload them here. This is how they did it back in the day. This is how they do it in my neck of the woods as well. So I, I, I really enjoy this map. I'm going to be playing at least 20, 30 episodes on this map and um, I'm truly enjoying this map. Okay guys, that's it. Um, you're not welcome on the on my farm anymore. So hope you, you enjoy this one. If you did, please do press the like button. If you didn't, um, please give me some suggestion how i can improve in this map reviews and um, thank you for watching see you again soon bye bye